Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another bespoke beer review for all them beer connoisseurs out there. And in this one, boys and girls, <laughs> we're off to Liverpool. We're going to a brewery which we've never reviewed a beer from before, so it's a channel first. And we're off to Top Rope Brewing Company, or brewery, and we have a can of their Raspberry Ripple Pow Ow, and it's called Cold Stone Cream Austin Super Smashing Great, clocking in at 4.6% ABV. Now, the two fellas who started this brewery up, um, I think they met in a, a homebrew competition or Brewdog homebrew competition. Why the hell Brewdog these days have homebrew competitions? Because some of the shite they're churning out at the moment, I think they, they need they need to to get some homebrewers in their bloody establishment <laughs> to, to brew some decent beers. <laughs> oh, what's the funds downs going on that comment? Ooh, hiss, you say. Anyway, um, these two fellas um, shared interest in beer. Um, I think uh, they they lost one of them lost their job and we got made redundant and they kind of like decided to do it full time um and um professionally and um, I'll say I'll say good luck to them I really do um so plus I've got a shared interest in wrestling as well apparently hence the name of this beer so let's crack this open and see what it's all about, and it's already burst its bank, so have a little whiff of it. Hmm, it's a little bit, it smells a little bit. Oh, god, <laughs> you know what? I can't pour with my left hand. This left hand can't pour properly. This right hand pours properly, but anyway, let's get it in the glass. So, yeah, um, what drew me to this beer was the name of it, I'll be honest with you. This was sold in a garage around the corner from me. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to this. There we go. I'll stick the old... There we go. Beer in a glass, as you can see. Very murky looking. Um, it does look like a little raspberry tinge to this um, around the edges, but it's a little bit murky. Um, fluffy head, fluffy the head has come out to play. This is going to go away in a minute. The aroma smells really pleasant. It's like a sherbet, it's like a sherbet -y aroma, to be honest. Sherbet, sherbet raspberry sweets if there's such a thing i think there was back in the day sherbet raspberry sweets smells lovely i'm gonna go in i can't wait cheers it's rather pleasant <clears throat> you know sometimes when you you drink. Have you ever had that thing where you drink and it comes up through your nostril and I mean you had it then? <laughs> again again. Get the raspberry. But it's like um if everything feels a little bit sherbet y to me, I don't know if it's just me, it just feels like Kind of like love hearts, you know, pack of love hearts, that type of thing. It all feels a little bit sweet shop, but I do like it. It's it's it's, it's it feels like a fun beer to me. It's four point six percent again. Lots of raspberry sherbet. Slight bitter edge, but it feels. The carbonation does work as well. The carbonation reminds me of, a, of space dust in a way, with a sherbet raspberry all wrapped up into a rather nice beer. Actually, I, I actually like this. It's a, it's a fun one. Definitely a fun beer. Uh, it's 
nothing else really for me in this. But I'll tell you what, I could drink quite a, a few of these and quite enjoy them. It's, it's just one of them. I mean, <laughs> it, 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 it does, you know, so sweet, it's so sweet shop like this beer for me. I mean, you could sell it in a toy shop somewhere. <laughs> I'm not promoting underage drinking boys and girls far from it. It just feels like that. It, it just feels very childlike, but in a nice way. Very refreshing. It is very refreshing. I like it for all them reasons. Toy shops and deep die cast models and God knows what else. You can fit just in that other lifestyle, just playing with your matchbox. <laughs> when they had the race tracks, used to get the cars, used to race it across. <laughs> anyway, apart from going on about kids' toys and stuff like that, this is a rather, rather nice beer. Uh, not getting anything else apart from sherbet -y raspberry. So, yeah. Would I buy this one again? You know what, boys and girls? I think I would, in a way, because it does make me feel immature, like you do. So, boys and girls, Top Rope Bruins, Cold Stone, Cream Austin, I think you should buy that. Try it for yourselves. It's, it, it, it's brought a smile to my face. Look at that. Nice big grin. Thank you very much for watching this one. As ever, you all stars, every one of you. And I shall see all of you again on another beer review. So cheers.